Hi, I'm Jim Martin. I'm Jennifer Wells. And this is the Jim and Jen Show at PascoHappenings.com. Um, Jen, we're here today at Ingram's Karate Center in Newport Ritchie. They also have a dojo in uh, Carrollwood. And um, they have a complete kid and adult program. So they include competitions, team events. More importantly, though, they have a focus on discipline, respect, and responsibility. Yes, and we are actually here with Jennifer Davenport today. Thank you so Absolutely. much. Absolutely. You're welcome. I appreciate letting uh, you letting us come here and learn something from you today. Um, Jennifer is also known as Sensei Jen. She is the head instructor at the Newport Ritchie Dojo. Mm -hmm. Jennifer began her karate uh, training in 1985. At, at this location, right? For Ingrams. Right. Yeah. Yes, actually under the instruction of John and Cindy Ingram. And she has been an instructor since 1990. That's incredible. Yeah. I mean, that's that's a really a block of time right there. Yes, it, it shows is. the level of commitment. And uh, absolutely, mm -hmm. does. And um, we are fortunate enough today to be able to learn a self-defense technique from Sensei Jen. So, um, Sensei Jen, we're ready to learn. Great. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. So, um, what we're going to work on is a choke from behind so you know there's a, many opportunities to learn many different things but the one we're going to do today is something that is a common fear being uh -huh. attacked from behind um, first and most importantly uh, is to protect yourself and so that you can think and respond uh, and in order to do that I'm going to get you to um, come forward just a bit and this would be a, I guess a one arm choke obviously you want to protect the neck and throat area so as soon as you see that attack coming up from behind you're going to just duck that chin in there you've got a little more space near the elbow so if you turn um, you're not going to feel any pressure on the neck and throat, and that's the first and most important thing in this technique. Okay. From there, we need to soften him up because you may not be able to, just on your own, pull his arm away depending on their level of strength. Okay. So we're going to soften him up by hitting our attacker twice first. The first thing that we're going to do is take the edge of your hand, in karate we call that a shuto, okay. uh, and we're going to use that as the, the first strike, the first line of defense. Um, in order to get a good strike, you're going to kick your hips over to the side, and you're going to use that left hand and come straight back, and basically you want to hit right dead center on them, and you come through quick before they even realize what's happening. Okay. From that point, you're going to step <laughs> apart, uh, get a little more balance for yourself, take that same hand, make a nice tight fist, and you're going to grab it to reinforce, and we're going to drive an elbow straight back. Chances are, these two strikes, if you do them as strong as you can, really going to soften him up, may make him let go right away. If it doesn't make him let go, we do have a plan B. Right off of that strike, you're going to come in, you're going to grab at the wrist, You'll be able to pry his grab off of you now. You've softened him up a bit. And we're going to come through here. And we're going to reach over the top. Grab yourself. This is an arm bar. Okay. We're going to press his hand towards him as you bring your left leg around front. And then we're going to apply pressure at the elbow by pressing oh. the hand. Wow. All right, so I, A, I would have been done at A. <laughs> B, I'm certainly over with. And C, when I see you carrying my arm down to the parking lot <laughs> at the grocery store, we're, it's over with. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's good okay. stuff. So can I try all three things at the same time? Let's okay, all right. Okay. Just don't forget to tuck your chin. Right. Okay. And we're practicing. Okay. So. Oh. First hand strike. That's going to hit dead center. Then we've got the elbow strike. Come up with that strike hand. Prime off. Reach over okay. the top. Grab your own wrist. Push his hand to him as you turn. And we're going to bring that left foot in the front. Oh, my gosh. And That's with, incredible. And with practice, and, and you know, you, you do get a little bit le more level of proficiency. So the more you do something, the better you get with it. Yes. You get more balance. You get more speed. And obviously, you want to hit nice and strong. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to make any of these things work. So that all comes awesome. with practice. Now, can I ask for you to demonstrate that with Jim? Oh, absolutely. So we can see what it should look like. Sure. <laughs> all right. All right. Great. All right. So same thing again. I'm tucking the chin. I've got one, two. Three. That's the end of it right there. That's awesome. Yeah. No wow. attacks in the grocery store parking lot on Jim's book. So, and I have some practicing to do. Absolutely. <laughs> um, Sensei Jen, thank you so much. You're very welcome. Absolutely. My pleasure. Yeah, absolutely, Appreciate Sensei Jen. Thank, thank you very much. You. You're Appreciate very welcome. Wow, we really learned a lot there, didn't we? Yes, we did. That was like really cool stuff. That was awesome. Yeah, that was, that was fantastic. Well, um, we had we saw that, and then we got a lot more cool stuff coming up in October as well. Sure do. Uh, we've got in Saturday, October the eighth. That's this Saturday. Uh, we've got two big community garage sales. Uh, one's at Concord Station. The other is at Ivy Lake Estates. Yes. Um, and they're both at eight o'clock. And, and uh, both of those communities are right uh -huh. on State Road 54. Yeah, they are both on 54. Yes. Um, the one's right behind the Target at 54 on the vet, mm -hmm. and then Concord Station's just down the street, yeah. just east of there. Yeah. So those will be good ones. Good neighborhoods, a good event. 
uh, 8 o'clock, don't miss it. Uh, Longleaf Farmer's Markets from 9 to noon. So after you do an hour of power shopping at the garage sales, you can whip it over to the farmer's market and yes. get yourself some fruits and vegetables yes. to kind of get things back in gear for you. You'll be hungry by then. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Then after you've kind of feasted on that, you could go down to the uh, Tampa Bay Water Ski Show. It's like a Cypress Garden style show. Yeah. You ever been to Cypress Gardens? Yes. It was awesome. Both of my yeah. grandparents' as kids like every summer. I so loved Cypress Gardens. It was Gardens. really cool. Really cool stuff. Um, and that's at Tower Lake. It's free to everybody. It's in Oldsmar. We'll have more information on uh, PasswordHappenings.com. Yes, I will look forward to taking um, my kids to that because uh, what a neat event. To yeah, that's really cool. For free. I yeah. mean, excellent. Um, okay, I have some things real quick. Mm -hmm. On October 14th is a uh, Fall Into Good Health Fall Festival. That's good. We and all need that. Yes, we definitely do. It's yeah. sponsored by Morton Plant Meats. Okay. And it's actually um, going to be in the Newport Ritchie area. And uh, they're holding that event from 6 to 8.30 p.m. Okay. With, um, oh goodness, face painting, um, inflatables for the kids. Fun. They have a, a, a mobile video game unit set right. up Very there. Cool. So how cool can that yep. be? I mean, that's awesome. Didn't you also say that there was like, they had, or did you ever say free health screening? Absolutely. The big focus is the free health screening okay. for that. So um, I would suggest if you um, and families can get out to that event, definitely worth uh, worthwhile Absolutely. for your family to go to. And um, uh, the next day, October 15th, is of course the Fall Wildflower right. Festival at Brooker Creek Absolutely. Preserve. Which is another free event. I'm and excited about that one. I know, me too. We had a good time out there. We sure did. So um, I think that's a great thing to bring your family to. Yeah. Um, or to just go on your own and enjoy all the things they have there at Brooker Creek. Yeah, that's um, a preserve right there at the... Uh, there's so many places around that. Hillsboro, Pasco, and Pinellas. Yes. It's in a good location. A very good location. And um, Brooker Creek is right on Keystone Road. It is. Yep. Yep. So, uh, so that'll be fun. And then we've got the Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk. Uh, it's a 5K walk. Better be prepared for that one. Hydrate. Hydrate. Um, it's at 9 a.m. at Wiregrass. Awesome. And that's uh, October the 22nd. Fantastic. And then um, October 29th. Is the big dog tober fest Absolutely. also at the shop to wear grass, and uh, that's going to be from ten to two, and they will have the Halloween parade at eleven o'clock. Eleven a.m. Yeah, wear grass. Be awesome. Good stuff. Also ongoing is the Zubu at um, Lowry Park Zoo, yeah. and then a uh, Hallow Scream for those that are a little bit older over at Bush Gardens, and. Um, and then Legoland opens up October 15th. I know. Yeah, That's exciting. Awesome. That's going to be cool. That's Our gonna son be cool. is a Lego fanatic, so, so we're going to be getting out to Legoland. Absolutely. Definitely. And, um,. That's about it for today's it. show. We thank you for being with us today. We were shooting live from Ingram's Karate Center. Mm -hmm. Two locations, one in Newport Ritchie, the other in Carrollwood. Absolutely. And um, we'll look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.